This morning, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, the armorer in charge of weapons on the set of the Alec Baldwin movie Rust, breaking her silence. Her attorneys releasing a statement overnight, saying she's been falsely portrayed and slandered in the media, adding she fought for training days to maintain weapons and proper time to prepare for gunfire, but ultimately was overruled by production and her department. The whole production set became unsafe due to various factors, including lack of safety meetings. With the set shut down and production halted on the movie, Gutierrez Reed's statement comes one week after Alec Baldwin shot and killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins with a gun he was told was safe to use. Santa Fe County Sheriff Adan Mendoza telling Savannah Thursday there's a discrepancy between what the film's 24-year-old armorer told detectives and the facts on the ground. According to the court documents, the armorer, Hannah Gutierrez, Reed told your investigators, quote, no live ammo is ever kept on set. Given your investigation so far, is that an accurate and truthful statement? No, obvious, obviously it, it isn't. Uh, that was a live round that struck, miss, struck and killed Miss Hutchins, so that is not uh, uh, a, an accurate statement at, as far as I'm concerned. Gutierrez Reed's attorney went on to say safety is Hannah's number one priority on set. Hannah has no idea where the live rounds came from. Hannah and the prop master gained control over the guns, and she never witnessed anyone shoot live rounds with these guns, and nor would she permit that. The Santa Fe County prosecutor says while it's too early to speculate on criminal charges, the film's producers, which include Alec Baldwin, could be held responsible. There is precedent in New Mexico for going after companies criminally when there were huge lapses in safety standards. So yes, it could happen. This morning, a possible criminal probe underway as the 24-year-old in charge of weapons breaks her silence. Miguel, obviously this is prompting a, a big conversation about safety standards in the movie industry, but in particular, lower budget movies like this one. Yeah, that's right, Savannah. There's not only been talk of change on movie sets, but there's actually been some action on some film and TV sets already. Directors say they will no longer use real guns, instead only using plastic or simulated guns. And the governor here in New Mexico is also pushing for change, saying they no longer want to see real guns on sets anywhere while filming in New Mexico. Savannah. Miguel Almaguer with the latest on this case. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.